good morning. Good morning. Our scenery has changed ever so slightly since South Carolina <laughs> last time. Where are we? What have we done? What happened? Well, I believe we told you mm. we watched our South Carolina series. We did tell which you. We should have. Um, we are in Maine for the fourth, fifth, fourth, fifth year. Fourth or fifth in a row, yeah. We we seem to always end up here in fall, specifically almost always October first, which is today's date. I don't know how that happens, but <laughs> now let's get to the sad part. That's right. I'm still wearing sandals. That's the sad part. <laughs> No, we don't have our companion. No, she's at home with the grandparents this week. Acadia is a pretty dog-friendly park, and Blackwoods Campground, where we're camping, is also very dog-friendly. But every time we've been to Maine, Riley has been beside us, and there's been a handful of things that we just cannot do with her. So we were going to film some of our campground, cooking breakfast, and all that jazz this morning, but we actually forgot that we uh, filmed YouTube videos, so... So we, we're now at the lake doing the first thing we're going to do today, kayaking, and um, sorry we didn't get any, any footage of that for y'all, but I think we'll be filming some more of the campground and all that jazz later this week. So we are on Echo Lake right now. We've been here once before. Last time we came here it was the evening, and I think we had about half an hour to paddle before the sun went down. This time we are here in the morning, so we have plenty of time. Well, we just finished kayaking Echo Lake. Andrew had a splendid time. I don't like lakes. They're creepy. Always will be. But I did figure out as long as I can be within 40 feet of the shore, I'm okay. Like a child. <laughs> um, but yeah, there was like no one else there. I think it was just us and two paddle boarders the whole time. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty peaceful. Um, we've now come just down the road to Azalea Gardens, which is a place we've passed many times before but we've never been able to stop because we've always had a furry little creature named Riley with us. Um, but we are here for the first time, checking it out. That's it's very right. pretty. It's so incredible, far. yeah, gorgeous. There is a $5 suggested donation per person when you come in. Um, Cash well, and Venmo, they had a little barcode, which is handy. That's worth it, they have bathrooms. Mm. It's very, very manicured, well taken care of. You get a little map that tells yeah. you what you're walking past. So yeah. It's very yeah. like uh, Japanese vibes. Mm -hmm. Like every single pathway, the gravel is like raked mm -hmm. with like little cool patterns. Yeah, so we're just gonna meander about and take in the pretty coolness. I love the tranquility.
So we are currently standing in our campground, as you can see from the tent. Um, but we are actually going to take a path from our campground to Ocean Path in Acadia National Park. I think it's like two miles round trip, maybe a little bit more. We're, it takes you to a parking lot and then from there you actually get to explore. So we'll probably end up doing like three, maybe even four miles by the time we come back. But it's nice that you don't have to drive to the most popular area in the entire park. You just walk from your campsite and no need to find parking. From Ocean Path kind of just takes you to along like the very scenic route of Acadia along the ocean. Mm -hmm. um, it goes by Thunder Hole, which is a very popular thing to check out. Monument Cove. Yeah, um, Sand Beach. Mm -hmm. It's that whole right half, like where Bar Harbor is, it takes you along. Actually, I think they connect to Bar Harbor. Yeah, I think it does. So we're probably not gonna walk that far though. I think it was like 40 minutes or so from the campground, which is not bad at all. Now, it was downhill the whole time, so going up will take just a little bit longer. We saw two snakes. Mm -hmm. I think I stepped on one. <laughs> Pretty sure I felt it underneath my shoe. No bears. No. Nah. Bear spray, though. Currently, we are sitting on some rocks, looking at the ocean. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. I think we're just going to sit here for a while. We brought some books. Brought some sunscreen, brought some warm clothes. I think that's the plan. Read and enjoy by the ocean. Got an old school espresso maker known as a mocha pot. And Candace and I are about to have a fresh hot cup of espresso on the beach or rocks or whatever this is. Am I even in this? Oh my god, I'm right on the edge. That's how we do it. Let's see. So here's our view. We're gonna enjoy this coffee by the ocean and keep on reading. Thanks for watching Riley Rooms. Click subscribe to keep up with all of our latest travels and don't forget to click that like button too.